listen, when somebody has a voice and they open their mouth and they start singing, what a gift that is. What a divine moment that is. Singing is sacred, people. To hear somebody just sing a cappella, no instrumentation, no band in the background, they just sing from their lungs and the breath comes out. And the melody and the harmonies, it reaches your ears and goes down into your mind and then travels down to your heart and make you want to smile, cry, fall in love. Singers change the world. Their music is the universal language that we listen to. Walt Jackson was born and blessed with the gift of singing. He is a natural born singer that power that he has that privilege that he has comes with great expectations it keeps him up at night it's always running through his mind he has to get it out the evolution is happening now with his life and with his brand and with his family the name Walt Jackson will be here for the next 50 years and beyond House of Hits, Radio Pushers, Dorian, Vinny, Surge. Let's get it, man. People, we're live right now inside the House of Hits studios, man. It's a great time to be alive. It's a great weekend. There is nothing like energy. Energy is this invisible force that controls what people think, how they feel. It could cause people to respond. It can cause people, it could propel people to levels in life. They never knew were possible because of energy. Good energy, not bad energy. Right, Some people naturally generate a certain level of magnetism, a certain level of energy that's magnetic. It's contagious. It's infectious. It grabs people in a positive way. It lifts them up. No matter what's going on in the world, they do that. When you meet people like that, it's a game changer. You feel it without them even touching you. You can say, wow, I want to be around that person of what they're doing. Walt Jackson is one of those people. When I met Walt, Walt Jackson, he was hungry. He 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 never wavered in his belief, in his confidence, in his music, some of the real ones. He said, yo, I want to be there. I see the vision. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. I got you, Jay. We're going to be on it. We're going to do it. Everything going to elevate. Facts. And even though... We hit some bumps in the road. The ability, the self-awareness, the accountability he held to himself was always was always next level. And that's what I loved about Walt. He never lost connection with his dream, with his purpose. I'm honored, super honored today to be speaking with major recording artist, serial entrepreneur, and just one of the best people that you'll meet. And, 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 and a for real dream chaser, Walt Jackson, welcome to the Hype Fresh House of His podcast. How you feeling, my brother? Doing great, man. Thank you. It's finally good to be sitting across from you. No doubt about yeah, it, man. Love the suit. <laughs> Thank you, man. I appreciate that, man. This suit's seven years old. Yeah. Still, <laughs> with black suits, you can get away with that. Uh, yeah. I want to tap into it this way, Walt. I want uh, you to be real. It's okay to get emotional. All uh, right. Your son. Yeah. Two of them. Two of them. Yeah. Your children, right? Yeah. You 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 created them. You were part of it, fifty percent. Yeah. Yeah. Some handsome boys. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you got you got a beautiful family. Yeah, man. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Family and legacy go hand in hand. Yes, sir. Is that what your music is about? A thousand percent. I mean mainly it's like <clears throat> you know, even when I'm recording at home, like they always love to listen to what I'm doing. Especially uh, you know, little Damon. But uh yeah, no, mainly it's I'm gonna make sure that they're they're taken care of, no matter what. And whether it's going to be through, you know, my profession or, or my, my dreams, mm -hmm. they're going to be good no matter what. So, yeah, no, my, my music is definitely going to reflect them. What do you do for a living? What's your regular job? Trucker. Trucker. So yeah. you're on the road a lot? Uh, not too much. I'm not I'm not OTR. So I'm, I'm local. So, I mean, I'm on the road, but I'm home a lot too. But when you're on the road, what do you think about within your family? Supporting them. Make sure they got a roof over their head. Mm -hmm. Making sure that they can eat. Making sure that they're, uh, they're happy. They can play. They don't have to worry about nothing other than just having fun. Yeah. I, I want to go back in time, then I'm going to come back forward. Okay. You have parents. Yeah. They raise you. Yeah. How did that, how did, how did, how 
does your parental background or foundation how does that tie into how you parent now um i mean no disrespect to my pops great man but he wasn't around so mm-hmm. seeing that i want to make sure that i'm around from so you know i'm gonna be there but my mother it's a wonderful woman she uh she ended up she passed away with right cancer yeah. All right, yeah, she passed away with the cancer in uh, 2008 but um before she was gone, she made sure we had everything. And even if we couldn't afford it, you know, we we had love in the house. Right. We had love in the house and, you know, it felt like we had everything we needed. So just, just reflecting off of that and seeing how much she had to work, how much she had to provide for me and my older brother, um, I just want to make sure that my kids, are, they got their father around to make sure they know they got to they gotta be men in this world. It's not easy. With your dad leaving, not being around, did it give you a different edge when it comes to how you want to be there for your sons? Yeah, it, it just put the the gas in my in my back to know that I'm not gonna I'm not ever gonna leave them you know make sure I'm around for them and I want them to be in a in a healthy household and they are so yeah explain that pain what was it like you pop down you know, how did it make you feel oh I'm be honest with you like when he was gone it, it kind of gave us a lot of freedom but um at the same time it was it was weird you know just and he would don't get me wrong he would try to Come, come and see us, or or, or we go out to Chicago to see him. This is back when I was in Michigan, mm. but uh, he would he would try. But it's just uh, you don't really get it when you're younger, but when he, as you get older, you understand like it's it's not easy. So I don't blame him. I don't blame him. You know, it's 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 wild out here. You know, so I don't I don't blame him. But it just it just again it just showed me that I don't want I don't want my kids to grow up like that. I want them mm. to feel feel safe. I want them to feel protected. Say I see the way you look at your son last night at Moxie. Yes, sir. I saw the way that. It was a great night. Yeah, I see. Yeah, it was, it was a, great it was a night. hot night. But but I, even through all of that, the beautiful women were around. Yeah. I know that you were focused. Yes, sir. I like that. Thank you. Because you, you, it was a very distracting place, to say the least. Yeah. But you were focused. <laughs> and that's that, grew, that won my respect about you in a different way. Thank you. Because when you're in a spot like South Beach and all that's going on, it's easy to get unfocused. I think that was the pain of your dad, making you focus like that. It could be. I, one thing I know, so last night, you was the king of that place, man. <laughs> Appreciate man, that, man. You was the king of that place, but yeah, yeah. Yeah. I agree with you. I want to talk about your mom. I wasn't close with my mom. I'm not close. For real? Nah, not at all. We, it's a long story. But, you know, my mom is very controlling. She never could control me. Mm. I'm a dad's guy. You was a wild boy. No, nah, I wasn't wild. I just the fact that whatever my dad wanted me to do, I just that's where I went with it. But let okay. me ask you this question. Okay. Your mom died of cancer. Sorry to hear about that. Appreciate it. The lessons from your mom. How much did that shape you? Shape your mentality and shape your drive. How much um, did it fuel you? I mean, a lot. She she put me she put me in choir when I was a kid. I was always singing, you know. So she put me in choir, and she was the one that told me. I mean, I wrote my first song and, okay. and went and showed it to her, you know. So she's the one that told me that I was going to make it. She had me on the radio when I was, like, four or five. Wow. Singing, like, a homeless song, like, Mama said to me, just like, one, two, three. Yeah. We're about to be homeless. It was, like, it was a thing, but it was wow. cool. I was on the radio young, but it was a, um, she just, she believed in me. She never told me not to falter, you know. Yeah. She she believed in everything I was doing. And yeah, even real. now, like, I feel like when I make it or when I do what I'm doing, I want to make sure that she's represented correctly so i'm always gonna put her on a banner like always she's, so she's like your rainbow she's she's the she's the greatest so you know how rainbow pops up every now and then mm-hmm. you know and the rainbow is so beautiful yeah you know you see a rainbow it's like oh right you never not you, recognize it's rare. it it's rare but but you never not recognize it when you see it so right. with your mom what i'm saying is you always gonna recognize that you always gonna pay homage to that because she's your rainbow a lot of times when people aren't here they turn you know my um my grandma used to used to say, um, "In death, I become a rainbow." Mm-hmm. I said, well, "Grandma, what you mean?" Because my grandma was older. My grandma was part Indian. And white. Oh, word? Yeah. You got some Indian in you? Long story. Dope. Um, long Dope. story. But <laughs> for what it is, we all got some in us. Yeah. <laughs> but my thing is, the rainbow is a, is a version of inspiration in your life. Yeah. We all have rainbows. Okay. They all just look a little different, but the impact's the same. So your mother's a rainbow, and I think you carry that a lot around yeah. with you, which is a positive thing. Yeah. When you're singing, do you hear her? Honestly? Because she um, put you on the radio at four. I wouldn't say I hear, do but you hear I... hear her saying you could do this? Let okay, that's more like it. Let me yeah, yeah, I definitely think of her. 
Mm. Definitely think of her just, again, always believing in me. And even sometimes, like, whatever I'm in the studio, I look up, I talk to God. I talk to her, too. So they know that, hey, I'm I'm doing this. No matter what. Mario is one of my favorite singers. Cold. I love Mario. Underrated. Yeah, he's cold. I forgot. I think he's from, yeah, he from Baltimore. Yeah. From Baltimore, right? Baltimore. Mar- Mar- you remind me of Mario. Oh, a that's, a, that's a that's a high compliment, sir. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, thank yeah. You. you remind me of him. Okay. You me. <laughs> but you great, though. All right. Thank you. And here's the thing I like about your music. Your music has youthful energy, but you got a certain distinctive soul to it. I don't know where it is. I don't know where... I just know it when I hear it. I remember you told me that. Yeah, exactly. That's why I always played your music. Yes, sir. On Heart Radio, 99.7 Heat Miami. Yes, sir. Here's the thing, Walt. You're born to sing. Okay. You can't go to school for that. You can sing. Thank you. You can sing. That means a lot coming from you, so thank you. I appreciate the the, the respect. But here's the thing, right? What you do with your voice, what Luther Vandross did with his voice was beautiful. Mm Mm-hmm. What Sam Cooke did with his voice was beautiful. What a lot of the great singers have done with their voice, Aretha Franklin, she took her voice and even used it for civil rights. Civil rights. That's right. Shout out Jennifer Hudson. The movie was amazing. Mm -hmm. What are you going to do with your voice? Take over the world. I want every single person that's going to some, whether they're on the bus ride home, mm-hmm. whether they're going to some at home, whether they're going to mm-hmm. some at school. This, this world is getting crazier by the day. I want them to be able to plug me in and escape. So I just want to be an escape for people, and I'm going to be. So when it happens, it happens, but that's what I want to do. I want to make sure that everybody, when they listen to me, they're not even thinking about their life. They're just thinking about where they want to be or what they want to do. Last question. Inspire people. What's the greatest thing about being a, well, about being a dad, a young dad? Um... I would say the fact that when I wake up, there's like a little me smiling at me. It's it's kind of hard. To, it's kind of hard to explain. Look, but many of you, look handsome. He's a, you got he, handsome. He, yeah, he, he's better looking to be. He's <laughs> yeah, he is. He is. <laughs> he's better looking to be, but just yeah, that's all right. Supposed to waking be. up when I, I look wake. better than my dad. Absolutely, <laughs> yeah. I get it. You're hilarious, handsome. But just when I wake up in the morning, I see him. Yeah, it just gives me a. It's not only gives me a drive, but I mean they're helping me as much as For I'm sure, helping man. them. You know, so when I wake up and I see him smiling, it's, it's just, I guess the best part about being a dad is having purpose. I love that. Yeah. House of Hits, High Fresh Magazine, 99.7 The Heat, Purpose, Walt Jackson, Real Ones. Thank you, sir. No problem, man. Thank you.